When Whitney was 14, she experienced something tragic, the loss of someone dear to her, her 17-year-old brother, Fernando Haywood, who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. His dad called me at work and he said, Chucky's been shot. From that point on, it seems like everything kind of blanked out with me. He was near the house and a boy just came up, somebody that he didn't know, came up with a gun and shot him. At three, Whitney was a fun, happy, and playful child. But at 15, she says, losing Fernando has caused her to be much more careful around others, quiet and unsure about life in general. Now I'm more, I'm more, I can say I'm more, you know, I'm familiar around my surroundings, you know. I don't like to hang out for a long time in places that I don't know. I pretty much didn't think, I don't think it could have happened to anyone in my family. But now seeing that it did happen to someone in my family, I believe that it could happen to someone else. Winnie and her mom have found it very difficult to talk about her brother's death but they recently tried to overcome their fears because they feel there's a message that needs to get out about gun violence. I think our young people need to send the message to their peers, letting them know that violence is just not the way. Weapons is not the way, violence is not the way. I think a way that I could help to end it would probably be protesting like every other person who has gone through the same situation with a loved one being taken away because of gun violence. And I think that's the only way possible to end it is protesting and getting your, your voice, sorry, your voice heard about it. A football player, rapper, and math whiz, that was Fernando. His life is just one of thousands taken, always by senseless gun violence. But Winnie and her mom are hoping this one story will help people realize the change needs to happen.